everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to share with you a part of my freegan lifestyle. What is a freegan and how does that play a role in my life? I hope you stay tuned for this very informative video. Hi everybody and welcome to my home. This is Homestead Tasty's Mobile Home Living. So I'm going to share with you what is a freegan? It's an urban word. What does it mean? Well, people that are freegans usually try to find things for free. They will try to find used items to save the landfill. And it's a way of living to help the environment, to be lower waste. So when we need something, we will try to find it for free. A big part of my life is about being a freegan. My husband and I sat down last night and we wanted to see how much stuff do we own that actually was given to us for free we dumpster dived or for whatever reason we got it for free so everyone I'm gonna show you my home all of the free items in fact today everything I am wearing was free from the necklace that was made from old string to my top that I'm wearing to the clothes that I'm wearing Everything in this video that I show you today was 100% free. All right, let's get started in the video. To the blackberries, to these jars, everything that you see was free. In fact, I'm gonna show you around in my kitchen because pretty much just about everything in my yeah. kitchen was free. To the oil lamps, some things we inherited, some things were dumpster dived, some things were actually given to us by other people, castaways, things that people didn't want. From pots and pans, the only thing sitting here that wasn't free was the stove and the canner and the bread machine. All of the trinkets and the items that I had there were pretty much all free. Even the blackboard was free. Even 80% of the food that we have is free. The kitchen table and chairs were free, except for the tablecloth, which was a dollar. There's two oil lamps. There's two little oil lanterns there were a dollar each. The rest of these were all free. my children's table set. Everything on here was free, except for a little book that I paid a dollar for. Some items were gifts, of course, but the rocking chair, as you know, was something that I had as a child. Pictures that my mom and dad made for me. Everything in here is free, except for the two sofas but everything else was free. Everything in this room was free except for the two sofas and the laptop. Even the picture, even the mirror, hi, that was free. We have an air conditioner that was not free, but everything here was free. Everything in this china closet is free. We have a program called Free Cycle, where I get a lot of my items for free. Part of a freegan lifestyle is to hang your clothing up. This here was given to me because it was broken. See, it's broken. I can fix it or I can use it as is and I saved it from going in the landfill. My whole house and life is revolves around being a freegan. And a freegan is someone who uses resources for free instead of throwing them away. Case in point, here's something else I got for free. It was all rusted. All that I needed to do was spray paint it and now I can wash my dishes out here. Thinking outside the box. 
part of the free game lifestyle is using things that were thrown away. So this here, this planter right here, this planter right here was part of a grill. So this is the bottom part of the grill and I turned it into two planters. And then all of this mint, this came from a clipping. A freaking lifestyle involves a lot of aspects of your life. Another aspect of being a freegan means harvesting the power of the sun. Cooking with a solar oven. Cooking with a solar oven. Now this solar oven, I received for free. I know not everybody can do that, but living a freaking lifestyle is just looking outside the box. I'm gonna show you my garden where I've taken old potatoes that were gonna be thrown away and I replanted them to grow more potatoes. Right, most everything in my garden was free. These old windows, the basket, all of these potatoes were free because I replanted them. Even a lot of these poles that I used for my tomatoes were free. And let me show you what I used. These are all potatoes. These are all potatoes. Tomato steaks here are free. That was rebar that we got from a construction site. They didn't want them. The tomato seeds were all free, given to me. All of that is free. I did pay for the teepees, but just about everything else is free in here. Even the herbs, a lot of them were free. Here are my grapes. Now we did pay for that. Old tomato cages were free because they were broke, but I reused them. Everything I'm wearing was free, even the bandana. Now, I want to share with you a little bit more about freeganism and <laughs> what does that all mean? It's kind of a strange word, isn't it? But it's a word that describes people like me who glean just about for everything and anything. Now, of course, we do spend money as we did this summer on working on our house, but for 11 years, we didn't spend anything, nothing. And now we got to do a few things. Freaking, being a freegan doesn't mean that you don't spend any money. It just means that you try to find things for free if you can. You barter, and you do things like that. And it's a part of my life I never really talked much about. So before the virus hit, I was really big into free cycle. Now most communities have free cycle. It's online and people just post all kinds of things they don't want or they post for things that they do want. I have been really involved in FreeCycle over the last 11 years, and most of the items I got were from FreeCycle. All of my canning jars, most of them were from FreeCycle, which I got free. Of course, I had to buy some here and there, but generally speaking, most of the items that you see, I got for free, even my garden. So my garden seeds, 90% of the garden seeds were donated to me. Somebody who works with Burpee gave me all of the old seeds. And even some other things that I did that were free, 
I took some old potatoes and I replanted them and now we're gonna have a bumper crop of potatoes that were 100% free because the potatoes I got were salvaged and so they were potatoes that were going to be thrown away and I replanted them there's many ways that you can have be a freegan and some people dumpster dive. As you all know, I don't need to do that because we glean food that was going to be thrown away, but it wasn't thrown away quite yet. And there are many channels. Freakin' Frugal is a channel that they do solely dumpster diving. Now, I've never really gotten into that. I've only done it a few times as far as for food, but I will. I will dumpster dive if there's something in there that I think that I might want. Oftentimes we do curbside, so we will drive and if we see somebody that has something out for free, we will pull over and pick it up. Everything on my porch is free, even the greenhouse. Now, because I am a content creator, I was able to get the greenhouse for free a few years ago for giving a product review. So not everybody can do that. It's only on your level. Some people that live in New York City get everything for free. They get all of their clothing, they get their food, and they get, you know, furniture for free. Here where we live, there's a lot of free stuff just waiting to be picked up along the curb. There's a lot of stuff people donate for free. So I'm a little more rural, I'm a little more country, so there's a lot of things that are for free around here. But in the city, it's really important, and especially if you live near college. Right when college is ready to close for the summer, Oh my word, you wouldn't believe, you could, you could furnish your whole house with things that college students have thrown away. So it's not just people that need it financially to get things for free because they can't pay for it. Lots of times it's people that are financially well off, but they want to save their money and they want to protect the environment. They don't want to buy something else that's going to end up in a landfill. They learn to fix things that are broken. All of these things can really widen your horizon. So you might want to check into FreeCycle. FreeCycle is online and it's a community that's everywhere and it can really make a big difference in your life. I hope you enjoyed this little video on being a freegan, <laughs> even though the name is so unusual. But I wanted to share this part of my life with you all and what do you have that you cherish that you got for free? Do you have a lot of things that you got for free? Here in our community, twice a year, I think it's twice a year, they have free garbage collection day where we go to our municipal building and you can throw things away, but they have a big area where people put stuff and you can go through it and you can pick out what you need. It is so much fun. And I think a lot of places have that.